In the next example, once again, I'm using this text pad for us to learn the syntaxes of the two languages. And then I will going to switch over to Visual Studio to execute it. In VB.net, if you have to declare a variable, how will you do that? Dim, a variable name, as, and a data type. Okay? Now, as, A is uppercase, and the data type can be any data type. What do you think the data type should I use for an age? I should use for an age. Integer. Integer. Okay? But that's VB.net. In C sharp, data type is not mentioned after the variable name. Rather, data type is mentioned before the variable name. And all the data types in C sharp which are not named after a class are lowercase. So what does C sharp call them? These are sort of kind of call them as primitive types. Why? Because they only represent a single value. They do not have any behaviors or properties attached to them. So if I were to declare an integer variable in C sharp, I'll say int. Followed by the name of the variable. Semicolon. No dim, no as. Okay? Now, if I have a statement in VB like this, and I want to declare another variable called age2, how am I going to do that? Comma, age2 as integer. But in C-sharp, I'll simply say int h, comma, h2. So you do not have to repeat the data type as many times as there are a number of variables. However, this is the advantage of vb.net. If vb says integer h as integer, comma, name as string, Notice, I can declare two variables of different data types on the same line. But if I were to do this in C-sharp, I would have to do int age semicolon string name. I have to go them, do it on two different lines. Why? Because in C-sharp, variable data type is mentioned first, so all the variables in that line can only be of that data type. In VB, the data type is mentioned afterwards, so therefore I can separate by comma, declare data types of variables of different types. Next, if I were to assign my variable a value, in VB I can say age equals to 90. Same deal in C sharp, age equals to 90, but semicolon. So this is VB without semicolon. This is C sharp with a semicolon. Okay. Now let's move forward. If I want to assign a value to a variable at the point of declaration, how do I do it in VB? Dim age as integer equals to 34. Okay? In C sharp, you do like this, int h equals to 34. Since we don't have dim, we simply bypass that. Variable name equals to value. That's the syntax in C sharp. Variable name equals to value. If I have multiple variables that need to be assigned their values, like I have this statement, in vb.net, age integer equals to 34, age 2 equals to 67, but in C sharp, I can say int age equals to 34, comma age 2 equals to 56, sorry, 67. So as you notice, each language has its ups and downs and ways of doing things. It's different for every language. But there isn't anything that one can do and other cannot do.
Okay. Now, I want to display a value of a variable in vb.net. I can say console.writeLine h. If I want to do the same thing in C-sharp, exactly the same thing, but with semicolon. Now, I want to display a message in VB saying age followed by the variable's value. Based on what I just told you in my last example, can you tell me how will I do this in C sharp? Can you change that second line I copied and pasted into a C sharp equivalent? Instead of ampersand, we use plus. What else? Semicolon at the end of the line. That's it. Same deal. Switch over to our .NET environment. And here, let me introduce a variable, integer, year equals to 2002. Console.writeLine, C Sharp 1.0 was introduced in year and then the variable year. And here's the output. Does it with the help of one variable in the concatenation operator. So as you can see here, that on the last line, we only have one variable towards the end. Then I'm going to make some changes to that statement so that we can actually work with multiple variables on, in the same statement. But I'm going to wait till everybody's done with that. Okay, now let's introduce a double data type. You already know how to do double in VB, where you do as double and the double D is uppercase. Here, the double D is lowercase. And we're going to give it a value of 1.0. So we have a double variable version that we're assigning it a value 1.0. Now, instead of saying C sharp 1.0 was introduced in year this and that, we will concatenate this with a variable version. And we're going to join it, on the other hand, with another concatenation operator. The output will going to be exactly the same as before. Yep. Okay, try this syntax. We have a string format. String is a data type dot format. So zero represents the first parameter in the list, and zero represent that the number that I'm bringing in has only one digit before decimal and rounded to one this digit after decimal. So now your output will going to be the same as before. Now, let me press enter here and increment the value of year by one. Traditionally speaking in vb.net, if you want to increase value of a variable, let's say if age wants to go up by one, how will you do that in vb.net? Age equals to age plus one. Or you can do age plus equals to 1. These are the two possibilities that you have in vb.net. But in C-sharp, there are four possibilities. Okay? Now, the two possibilities in C-sharp are exactly the same as in vb.net. The other two possibilities are age plus plus. So plus plus is a shortcut operator which will force the value of a variable to go up by one and be stored back in that variable. Or it can also be used as plus plus age. 
So you can use a pre-increment or a post-increment. Similarly, you have age minus minus to decrement post or minus minus age to decrement pre. Now, it's a very valid question that some of you may ask. Is there a difference between pre and post? Yes, in some circumstances it is. We're going to look at those circumstances in a different example. But what we want to do, it doesn't really make a difference. Either way, it will going to increment the value by 1. Is there such a thing as like the Yeah, so we, when we discuss loops later today, we will see how you write loops. Similar, everything that you have in VB, we have it in C Sharp. So basically today, you are doing a lot of the VB in C Sharp. How you do it here, kind of a deal. Okay, the next thing is to switch back here, and I want to increase the value of ear by 1, so I do ear plus plus. And for the version, I want to increment its value by 0.1. So what is 1 plus 0.1? 1. 1.1, 1. 1. 1, okay? Now, let me copy this whole instruction and paste it again. C sharp, string dot format, version was introduced in the following year. So now, here is the next output, and that is... C sharp 1.1 was introduced in year 2003. Notice before I display the output, I incremented the year by 1 and I incremented a version by 0.1. So the output instruction stays the same because the values of variables have changed. That's why the output is of a different value. Now, Two versions of C sharp came the same year, 1.1 and 1.2. So now I want my statement to say C sharp 1.1 and 1.2 came this year. So now I'm going to change my output to facilitate this new output. And now I'll copy and paste this version deal that I have over here. How can I change this version from 1.1 to 1.2? If I simply add to the value of version 0.1, so now it says C sharp 1.1 and 1.2 were introduced in year 2003. So I am performing my addition right before I convert it to a string format. And this addition that I'm doing right now over here will not change the value of version. We'll only add point 0.1 to it just for the display purpose. Version will still stay 1.1. 1 .1. 